Today, I will show you how to record a video of you and your presentation on PowerPoint. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to record a webcam video of you on top of your PowerPoint slides. While you present them, save it as a video and discuss some common issues that may arise. Now, depending on which version of PowerPoint you have, be it Office 365, Office 2019, or 2021, the menus and options may look a little different. For this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that I'm going to do the exact same PowerPoint slide and record it. The first way through, I'm gonna show you each step pretty quickly and then I'm going to walk through it real time with you so you can get the hang of it and it will be easy to understand when you do it on your own. You need to look for record or go to the file menu at the top left corner and find export. Choose the option to create a video from the options provided. Once here, choose your resolution quality. Full HD 1920 by 1080 is pretty standard. Click the create video button and you load up what looks like a slideshow layout. You have a few options in this window. Now make sure you have your webcam and microphone you're using selected here. Now that that's done, I can see myself down on the bottom corner. And once the file exports at the end, your webcam video in that spot, along with your audio, will be available to download in the format of your choosing. MP4 is typically the default file format. You'll see that there are a few different views to select of teleprompter, presenter, and slide view. Choose what works best for you. If you have notes on each slide, which is really helpful, they show up at the top of the screen where a typical webcam would be placed on top of your monitor. There are also some options and colors to choose from down the bottom so you can make notes as you go. If you're ready and everything is set, hit the record or red button. Don't worry, you'll see a countdown timer and then the recording will begin. You can navigate through your slides and continue recording, talking to the audience through the webcam and through your audio while presenting your PowerPoint. You can also pause or stop the recording if needed. Once you're finished recording, you can press the stop button or the red button. Lastly, save the file to your desired location. Then feel free to send it out, show it to a class or upload it to any video website you need. Okay, so now we're gonna do this presentation in real time. I'm going to look for record, which is right up here at the top, or I can also look over here for file and export. Now I can do create video is what I really want to look for because we're going to record the slides and my face. And I'm going to make sure I do select that full HD 1080p. Those other options are okay. I mean, if you want to do 4k, that's fine. It's going to be a huge file size. If you want a smaller file size, definitely pick something 720 or if it, doesn't matter how it looks and it's gonna be a little grainy, 480p is totally fine. I like to record at least 1080p. Now, when you get ready, you're going to hit the create video. It's gonna pop up an option for you to save the file. All right, so when you get back to this screen, you wanna be on the record tab here at the top and you wanna hit the record from beginning. It doesn't say record, but it's got a little record icon and you wanna hit from beginning and click that. And I've got multiple monitors. So what's happening is I've got a kind of what it looks like for the presentation overhead projector on one screen. And then on this screen is more my back end. As you can see, like we talked about earlier, we've got this edit that takes you back to the slideshow to edit the time, the record button to start recording. I can turn my camera off and on. Ah, oh, where'd I go? I'm back and uh, yeah, I am. And turn my mic off and on. And I have other options here to make sure I select the right camera. I've got a lot of different options. And when you're ready, we'll export that. But remember, we also have another options down here where I wanna look at it in teleprompter view. So I can speak the ad notes or script to help you land your message clearly. Notes can be added while editing your presentation and are displayed in teleprompter and presenter view while recording. So I'm kind of looking towards the top of the screen, but I'm reading and that's it's not the most lined up thing, but I do a lot of editing where I remember what I'm gonna say, I look at the camera and I say it, and then I look at what I'm gonna read and I look at the camera and I'm gonna say it. That's totally fine, but you don't have to edit all that stuff and, and work really hard to make it seem super cut and super edited. Just record. A lot of people out there just record and talk like they would on a webinar or anything else. The other view is that presenter mode, which helps you with your notes that can be over here for uh, any notes you may have about the slide that you want to talk about. And then that last view we saw at the beginning was a slide view, which a lot of people may use the teleprompter or presenter view in this situation. 
and it makes it pretty simple. We wanna make sure we hit the record button and start recording. Remember, it's got a countdown timer. And this is when you start presenting. Now I can click on the slide to advance it, or I can use my arrow keys, or I can also use the space bar. I can go left on my arrow keys or right to go forward. They can actually go down and up as well to go forward and backwards. Now let's say I move forward and as I'm talking and I wanna talk about the next slide, make effective presentations. And you wanna make a note here in red. Hey, this is important. Hello, make sure this is important. Let me make it a little crazier. Yellow, this is important. You can highlight, you can do anything, all sorts of stuff. And that's super beneficial for making a point in the presentation. Now, you may see it here in the slide presentation for recording, but it doesn't actually transpose and write onto your actual slide later when you go back to edit. It's purely like writing on a cellophane piece of plastic on top of an overhead from the old school and writing on top of something. It's not going to be there when you're done. There's also this really cool laser pointer option. You can select and use a laser pointer to point out things. This is important right here, just like a laser pointer if you were actually in a physical location doing a laser pointer for the presentation. And you just deselect. So I go down here and I deselect and it's now off so I can advance the slide. Now this presentation I just found on the internet is some template to help you make stuff, but you obviously have your own slideshow and everything. What I do like about this is it has the next slide feature up on the top, which is really cool. And I think this is the last page if we advance forward it's the last one and it's the end of the slideshow. And once we're doing the slideshow, it would have ended the slide recording for us automatically. Now you wanna hit export here at the top because we're done and we're gonna export this to Bubba test one and we're going to export it right now. And it takes a little bit of time and it exports that video just depending on how long the video is. Let's go ahead and view it. So I viewed and there it is. And there's the short clip I have of me talking. You can't hear it because I have the audio turned off, but there it is. And that's the video, the format. This is just a program that plays the MP4 file. As you can see, Bubba Test 1, MP4. These are real helpful for you just to send out the whole video or upload these to something like YouTube or Vimeo, or if you're in a school to some sort of learning management software. And there it is, it's just an MP4. It's not a huge file because it wasn't very long. And that's how you can record your webcam video and presentation on PowerPoint. Have fun and thanks for watching.